Hey there, how's everything going for you today? Today I've got a melee weapon for you, and it's the first melee weapon that's been created by a friend of mine that is a lot more knowledgeable about texturing than me, and he also has better tools, so the weapon looks a lot better than normal, and I'll talk more about that later though, because right now I have to show you the Cricket Bat. The Cricket Bat is a two-handed melee weapon that doesn't have any science mods, it only has weapon modifications through blacksmithing. The mods are nails, spikes, a grip, a combination of nails and spikes, and then a decal. The decal and the grip don't do anything stats-wise, they're just aesthetic upgrades. The nails and the spikes, however, do about the same thing as they do on the nail board, but with a bit of a boost to stats, because fuck the nail board, it's weak. The decal you can put on the back of the Cricket Bat is a reference to Shaun of the Dead, by the way. It's the same branding as his Cricket Bat was in the movie. The Cricket Bat is the first melee weapon I've made that I've implemented a new leveled list system into, which should drastically increase the rate of finding my weapons over the vanilla weapons in the wasteland, instead of only finding my frying pan and box cutters, and then the rest of the ridiculous vanilla weapons that spawn after that. This method will slowly be applied to every single weapon in MCAM as time goes on, and with that said, yes, this weapon will be a part of MCAM, I'm just finishing a couple of tweaks and bug fixes and things like that in MCAM before I release the next update. On the topic of leveled lists, if you guys want to find the Cricket Bat in the game, it's been inserted to the leveled lists of anybody that normally has a baseball bat, so if you want to find it, just kill people that normally have baseball bats and you'll eventually find a Cricket Bat. It's slightly rarer, but it's still out there, so you should be able to find it pretty easy. So now is normally the time that I start rambling about something unrelated and start playing combat clips in the background, but no, there's so much more, dear viewer. On top of the regular Cricket Bat, there is a legendary version called Hard as Nails. This bat has a custom decal on the front with the bat's namesake on it, and this bat is meant to bring out the hardy, tougher than tea cozies nature of the user, and it gives the user a bit of damage resistance as well as increased base damage. This weapon, as well as its name, is a reference to Brady Heron's love for cricket, as well as his hard as nails nature. This stems from the podcast called Hello Internet that he runs with CGP Grey, as well as his numerous other YouTube channels, the most notable of which are Periodic Videos, Number File, and 60 Symbols. If you guys are interested, interested in the podcast or his YouTube channels, I'll link to all of them in the description. If you want to know where to find this unique version of this weapon, I'm going to show it to you right now. If you're one of those people that would rather stumble upon the weapon instead of knowing exactly where it is, please close your eyes and cover your ears for the next 26 seconds. Alright, so you'll notice in the background that I've been progressing through the Libertalia Raider base. That's actually where this weapon is. It's in the captain's quarters, so if I go up here and go inside... And then I head over to the left here. You will notice that there's a cricket bat on the side table with a note next to it. This is the hard as nails. I'm not going to read the note for you because it'll ruin it and I want you guys to go and find it and read it for yourself. Alright, so weapon aside, I mentioned in the beginning of the video that I had a friend working on textures for me. And I asked him if he wanted to say hello in this video, but he doesn't want anything to do with promotion or notoriety, so I'm just going to talk to you about the situation now. And I have done a little work together so far, like the solar panel in the factory mod that I showed last week. At this point, it's basically the two of us figuring out each other's workflow, but he's going to keep helping me into the future, and he's also expressed some interest in retexturing some of my existing weapons. I'm sure you're all aware of the shoddy nature of some of my textures, so needless to say, I'm pretty excited. In other news, the factory mod has been coming along slowly. Jonas and I have been caught up working on the pipe system that we're trying to use for transportation of fuel in the generators. So hopefully we'll have that finished for next week so I can have something cool to show you. And I've also started working on a mining machine that will replace the model of the miner that we have in the game currently, which is just a builder right now. One more thing before I take off, I'm considering using a face cam in the quarter of my videos like this. When there's nothing going on on screen, this will give you guys something to have your eyes wander to or focus off when you get bored of me smacking things with other things. I don't want to make it intrusive so it won't be anything fancy and it won't like take up the entire screen or anything when I'm talking. It's just going to be like a tiny camera in the corner that will come and go as needed and it won't cover up anything important. I've got a webcam and everything already so it just requires me to start doing it. So if you think that it wouldn't be the most terrible thing in the world, please let me know and I'll, uh, I'll continue considering it. And that's all I've got to say. So you have yourself a gorgeous, g gorgeous? Yeah, yeah, that works. Keep, keep on being gorgeous for the rest of the week. And I'll be seeing you soon. Later days.